today on the Hunt Fish Shoot channel, we're going to be covering whether you should go out and scoop up the Hellcat RDP from Springfield Armory or the CR920P from Shadow Systems. Both of these are compensated options straight from the factory needing no modifications to go out, hit the range and have a light recoiling micro compact pistol. You will see there's another manufacturer, SIG, who is extremely popular and does have compensated factory options, but we purposely omitted those because it's not the same size. Whether you get the Spectre Comp or you get the Macro, those are both larger pistols than these two. These ones still both have your micro compact grip frame size, okay? Meaning the XL from SIG actually does have a 12 round capacity, longer overall grip length than both of these do. And then the Macro, although has an absolutely fantastic capacity and it's a really great shooting pistol, it is significantly larger than these two pistols when you're looking at grip length and overall size. These pistols are nearly identical in size. They're the same overall length. Neither one is any longer than the two. Their barrel lengths are nearly identical as well. Okay, being nearly four inch barrels with compensated slides, okay? Now, the difference that you really see between the two of these is the compensator design between the two. Starting off with the Hellcat RDP from Springfield. With the RDP, it has a self-indexing compensator. So there's a threaded barrel where the comp actually screws onto it and then indexes on the bottom with a lever that basically locks it into place, okay? Now, with the CR920 from Shadow Systems, there's an actually patent-pended design where it's not threaded the comp actually goes on and locks onto the barrel with a system and a lever lock that they have where you use an actual like a punch to lock it into place. It's extremely secure. And again, there's no threading. There are states in the country that do not allow threaded barrels. So therefore the CR920P out of the gate is legal in every single state in the country versus the Hellcat RDP, which would not be because of the threaded barrel. Now, optics mounting on both of these, they both have really good systems, okay? The Hellcat itself does not have as many options or different variables you could go into for mounting different optics on it. It uses a standard, a say, Holosun 507K style footprint or a Shield RMSC footprint. And so actually on here, on both of these pistols, we have the Vortex Defender CCW, which has become one of our favorite open emitter micro red dots for concealed carry options, okay? Now, your CR920P, if you're not familiar with Shadow Systems pistols, their multi-optic footprint, okay? You can mount just about any single red dot you could ever want on their pistols, okay? With the CR920P though, you can't mount the larger ones like your full size 507s or your RMR, but you can do the RMR CC. You can do all the smaller ones and put them on here versus the Hellcat, you cannot do that. So I do give a slight edge to optics capability to the CR920P and threaded barrel, you know, although is nice, it's not legal in every state. So I have to give the ability that you can actually comp the CR920P be available in any state in the country and be legal to the CR920P. Okay, now grip textures on both of these are actually very good. The Hellcat grip texture, if you're not familiar with it or even what's on the Echelon, it feels somewhat smooth until you actually put your hand on it and you grip down on the pistol. And at that point, when you do it, it actually really bites into your hand. Okay, so when you're wearing it on your belly, you're wearing it on your side, whatever it might be, it doesn't chew up your skin. Now with the Shadow Systems pistols, it's very aggressive. It's like a sandpaper style texture or stippling. It's all the way around and it is far more aggressive and grippy than what you get on the Hellcat. Now, both of these, it's kind of going to come down to personal preference because personally between the two of them, I've shot both of them a lot. I can't say that the grip texture on the CR920P is so much better that it makes it shooting it easier than the RDP. I really don't feel that. I think really that's gonna come down to compensators and we'll shoot that on the range so you guys can see it. But what I can say is with the Hellcat and the grip design itself, it has a slight beaver tail. Now in the past, again, like I said, I've shot this pistol a lot. I have gotten and do get slide bite from this pistol. But then with the CR920P or even the CR920, which I carry a CR920, I do not get slide bite with those pistols, okay? It just doesn't really happen unless I'm really choking up on the pistol or not paying attention, it happens. But overall, when I go out to the range, now when I shoot these pistols, I don't get it. However, the Hellcat, it does happen to me on occasion. So there is a little bit more of a pronounced 
and say a little bit better beaver tail on the rear for somebody especially with larger hands. What I do like though about the Hellcat is the grip angle itself. It's more of a neutral grip angle, okay? And it's not so much of the raked Glock style grip angle you get with the CR920P and that it's a little bit more angled versus a vertical grip angle here on your Hellcat RDP. That being said, I don't care for the, the style of finger grooves that they have on here. I really don't like that. I think I wish it was just flat, but again, I think I prefer the overall grip angle here on the RDP. The magazine release button on the RDP is easier to use, easier to hit, and it may even function a little bit better than the CR920P. Not saying it doesn't function on the CR920P, it's just easier to actuate and hit on the RDP. Okay, I don't know that I can sit here and tell you that, you know, with either one of these, I, I have to break my grip. Micro compacts, myself, and large hands, I have to break my grip in order to hit those buttons. But overall, I think it's easier to hit on the RDP. Both the magazines on both these pistols come out of the pistol fairly well. There's no issues with that stuff coming out of these. And in addition to that, magazine related wise, when you put the 11 round magazine or the 13 round magazine in either one of these pistols, because they both have an 11 and a 13 that ships with them, they both kind of finish off the grip and they fit well. Okay, I would say if anything, maybe the CR920P is a little bit shorter than what you're getting with the RDP and it's finished off a little bit nicer on the RDP because you get just a touch more and you also get some texturing on that 11. But when you put the 13 round in the RDP and you put a 13 round magazine in your CR920P, they're identical. They feel nearly identical. There's still that little bit of a gap that the magazine addition adds to it. Although you can't really feel it under recoil and I don't notice it while I'm shooting. However, holding them in a studio here like this, I do notice it. Slide serrations, without a doubt, the CR920P blows the Hellcat out of the water. Not saying they're bad on the Hellcat, but the CR920P slide serrations are significantly better. They're deep, they're honed, they're smooth. They're across the top. I mean, they're just overall better slide serrations. Very, very easy to grip, regardless of whether you're wearing gloves, your hands are wet, dirty, or bloody. Um, again, these aren't bad on the Hellcat, but I do wish they were a little bit more aggressive and pronounced like they are in the CR920P. Sight-wise, both of these have night sights on them. It's both of them are going to have a, there's a bunch of different actual models here for the RDP that you can get different sights on them. But on this particular model, it does have a green, let's say neon green circular night sight on the front. Same concept here with the night vision sights that are on the CR920P. Now CR920P has a blacked out rear sight on it. And then this has a U-notch sight on here, which a lot of people don't seem to like the U-notch. However, myself personally, I do really like it. And it's a very, very easy sight picture to obtain. Both of these pistols for co-witnessing, you can co-witness the iron sights through these two optics. So therefore, both of them are equally as good when it comes to your sights and overall sight height when mounting a red dot on the pistols. So now trigger design and trigger how these are. They're actually extremely similar. The Hellcat trigger itself is, okay, you have some take up, and then there is a somewhat defined wall, a little bit of mush, a little bit more, more, some take up, and then I'm now at a complete wall, okay? And there's no more creep at this point because I've shot the trigger enough, and then it breaks. Um, it's fairly heavy. It's a little bit more like probably five and a half pounds. I don't have a scale, but I can tell you that that's probably about what this one is at. Now, the CR920P is actually a little bit lighter so you take up and a little bit of creep there or mush and then you actually hit a defined wall and it breaks crisp and clean i'd say it's almost a whole pound lighter than what you get on the rdp now so for some folks for concealed carry and defensive purposes they want a heavier trigger and for some folks that don't really care and you're just talking about if you're actually going to the trigger a defensive situation it's because you're planning to shoot and it shouldn't be on there anyway unless you're gonna shoot so I don't care, okay? But I do definitely prefer the trigger on the CR920P over the Hellcat. Granted though, the Hellcat trigger, when it breaks, is actually flatter and it's more of a flat shoe versus the curved style shoe on the CR920P, okay? So I don't really, you know, they're both honestly pretty darn good triggers for micro compact pistols. However, I do give the slight edge to the CR920P. One last thing I want to talk about though, is with the Hellcat RDP, is factory mag options. You can't go out and get a 15 round magazine for your RDP. You can't do that for 
the Shadow System CR920P. Although the magazines are good, they're manufactured by Shadow Systems, and I've had no issues with them, they do not make a 15 round option to put it in the pistol. So magazine options, without a doubt, you know, the Hellcat probably gets the edge in that. And the magazines also have been absolutely fantastic. We've shot so many rounds through Hellcat pistols and never had a single issue. Now, out of the box, never had a single issue with the Hellcat RDP. It does not need a break in period. We've never had any malfunctions whatsoever. A CR920P, it did have a slight break in period where we did have some malfunctions in there, but after that, there hasn't been any. Shadow Systems makes that well known. Um, some people, they care about that. Me personally, I do not because I shoot so many rounds through carry pistols or duty pistols in general before I'm gonna carry it anyway. So the fact that I have to shoot 200 rounds means nothing to me because chances are myself personally, I'm gonna shoot at least a thousand rounds through a pistol before I carry it. Now granted, I don't suspect everybody's gonna do that. However, for me personally, that's what I do. Overall fitment, design, and how they look. The comps on the two pistols, although both of them I know are effective, aesthetically, the CR920P is a much better looking pistol and how the comp fits on the pistol and finishes it off and overall design on it, it's just better. It really is and it looks a little bit nicer. Functional on the RDP, however, it does not look as good, it does not look as machined as well, and it does not fit as well as what you get on your CR920P. A lot of time and engineering went into the design features for the CR920P, which is not just simply a CR920 that they put a thread of barrel and slapped a comp on it. This is a whole different model. The slide's actually different than CR920, so you can't even take the barrel and comp and put it on a CR920. You can only have it on the P model. Now, both of these models here have standard, let's say left-handed or right-handed shooters slide releases on them. Um, both of them are fairly small. However, both of them are fairly easy to hit. I don't have any issues hitting either one of them. Both of them have fencing around them. And really as they sit, they're nearly identical as far as for how they function and how they feel. We'll evaluate all this stuff as I shoot these on the range because these pistols offer a lot and they're both truly awesome options in this size category factory comped pistols. And one last thing, so I do not forget, is that on the Hellcat or RDP models, they do have a smaller light rail. However, there are lights that are available for this, just like you have to use a special sub light from Streamlight to fit the CR920 or your 43X style pistols. And as I sit here, there's one last thing I also want to you know, make sure I point out is on the bottom of these two pistols, you'll notice that the trigger guard on your CR920P is actually cut out. Okay, so when you're actually forming a two-handed grip, it's a little bit easier on the CR920P because there's space ultimately for that second grip. And in addition to that, the flared magwell you have on the CR920P versus what there is nothing like that whatsoever on your RDP. So we've talked about these pistols a ton here in studio. Let's go out on the range and truly see what I know everyone cares about and which one of these two pistols shoots flatter, shoots more accurately, and is easier to shoot. First one I'm gonna shoot is going to be the Hellcat RDP. Uh, and then after that, I'll go into the CR920P. I'm gonna shoot both of them in the same type of procedures. Ultimately, I'm gonna start off with a build drill from the high ready position. The RDP is a, a very manageable pistol and it feels really good. You can definitely tell that that comp's doing something. If you're familiar with the Hellcat pistols in general, a little bit on the snappier side and with the RDP, it almost takes that snap out of it. Trigger feels pretty darn good as well. All right, so 113 round, 111 round magazine through the RDP so far. Um, very, very easy pistol to shoot. I'm able to get sub two second build drills with this pistol and get, I mean, all pretty much A zone hits with the exception of a couple flyers out there. But for the most part, I'm getting all good hits. All of them are within a C zone target. Um, sub two second build drills here with it. And it's really good to see. I mean, Frank, it's a very easy pistol to shoot. So let's shoot that CR920P and see how it compares in the same token. Again, I'm gonna try and run through procedures that are the same, same thing with reload wise and all that stuff and see how the two of them feel when you do reloads. Not saying with these concealed carry size pistols, you'll be doing a bunch of reloads, but I like to know how they feel. 
Next up, CR 920P. Again, I'm gonna shoot this just almost identically as the Hellcat RDP. I think, if anything, right away, I can tell you, I think the CR 920P is flatter shooting, and I definitely prefer the grip texturing on the CR 920P. It's definitely more aggressive. As somebody that carries a CR 920 in general, it's not so aggressive, it's gonna chew you up on the stomach. However, the Hellcat's grip texturing is good. I think the CR 920P grip textures are a little bit better. The P is definitely a flatter shooting pistol than the RDP. However, magazine, you know, release and a reload is definitely easier on the Hellcat RDP. And overall grip length and size, they're the same. It's just, however, I think I definitely prefer that magazine release button on the RDP over the CR920P. It was easier to do. In addition to that, the actual magazine design that you see with the RDP and how it actually fits into your hand on the bottom is a little bit better than what you're getting with the 11 rounder from Shadow Systems. It works, however, I definitely prefer that 11 round magazine on the Hellcat versus what's on the CR920P. What I'm gonna do now is shoot both of these pistols from a close quarters retention position and to addition, retreating from that position. Um, if you're not familiar, you've never been trained and never done close quarters retention shooting, I don't recommend it. It's definitely something that has to be practiced under strict supervision from people who know what they're doing, know how to teach it, because it can be very dangerous. However, um, I've done a lot of it myself, trained, and in addition to that, I am a pistol instructor. So therefore, this is one of the things I like to work on because at this retention position, especially with these types of pistols, this is a position you can find yourself in. Now, I also like to shoot these because they both have comps on it. Some of them, what people like to ask is, how does that comp feel under close quarters retention? How does it feel under night vision or whatever it might be? These ones, close quarters retention is a good way to notice it. And in addition to that, the RDP, if you're not familiar with it versus the, the CR920P, it actually has ports on the sides of it versus just on the top. Now, most pistols only have ports on the top. So now with this pistol, I wanna see if I feel any gas blowback ultimately when I shoot this at close quarters retention because when I shot like an AXG Legion, DR920P, or I didn't have that because it just directs the port you know, away from me because as you come into retention and you shoot it, the pistol's angled to keep it away from body armor, your body, your jacket, whatever you're wearing. And so it's interesting to see how this is gonna feel. So just three rounds for close quarters retention. So without a doubt, I could definitely feel gas blowback actually coming up into my face with the RDP. Um, after this, again, I'll shoot the CR 920P and see if that's the case. I could feel it actually coming out and, and hitting me in the face. You know, as far as for self-defense purposes, it's not gonna make a difference. However, I can definitely feel that gas coming off of it. Again, I'm gonna shoot close quarters retention, CR 920P this time to see if we get that, that gas blowback ultimately in my face like I had with the RDP. No, I just, I don't feel it like the other one. I'm not noticing it really whatsoever. Yeah, with the, the CR 920P from Shadow Systems, I don't notice it whatsoever, but under that retention, what I can tell you is that the comp feels like it's doing more. The like pistol doesn't necessarily want to now, like want to flip from that position. You know, you're obviously tucking it in, it's retained and all that stuff, but you, you don't have a full two-handed grip and all that. So you can really tell that this pistol just stays really flat versus with the RDP, I can almost feel it like kicking back on me a little bit. And just to that, I could feel that gas coming up and hit me in the face. Now, some of that you do feel like comes off the target, but what I'm feeling is directly from that muzzle brake or the comp itself. The next part comparing the two or evaluating the two is I want to check how the triggers feel. Um, both of them have fairly good triggers, especially for striker fired micro compact pistols, but I want to see how the two of them feel side by side. I think the overall pull weight on the CR920P feels like it's a little bit less than the RDP. However, the RDP or the Hellcat pistol has 
I'd say almost more like a cleaner brake. Reset wise, they feel about the same. I'm not noticing that so much. Um, pull width's definitely less on the CR 20 p And again, I probably can't reiterate it enough and I hope it's visible on camera. The RDP versus the CR 920 p the CR 920 p definitely is more effective when it comes to mitigating or reducing recoil with the, uh, the compensator. I finish up shooting both of these pistols. In summary, in my opinion, shooting the CR920P is a more pleasant shooting experience. It has less recoil. It's easier to gather your sight picture faster than with the RDP. And ultimately, it's got a lot of features that I think I wish maybe the RDP had. The RDP from Springfield Armory and the Hellcat pistols in general are excellent pistols. They're proven. They've been around for quite some time now. These are a newer newcomer to the game. Both of them are excellent pistols. I definitely give the slight edge to the CR920P and this would be my personal pick. However, if you're you know, maybe trying to get a little bit of a cheaper pistol, the Hellcat is a little bit cheaper. The RDP is a little bit cheaper than the ones from Shadow Systems. However, I think it'd be worth your money to get the CR920P from Shadow Systems because again, it's a flatter shooting micro compact with nearly all the same features you want, more optics capability, Sights are similar, triggers are similar, better grip textures, better slide serrations and everything like that on there. And on top of all that, if you're somebody that cares about it, it's 100% made in America. So until next time, guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, drop us what you think is your favorite micro-compact comped pistol on the market.